Kabune Technical Training Institute is located in Meru County, about 7 kilometers from Meru town. The institute was established in 1964 by the Consolata Sisters as a center for training social workers. In 1967, the Ministry of Education requested the Consolata Sisters to start a grant-aided commercial training school for girls. And in 1986, Nkabune Girls Commercial Training Center, among other technical secondary schools, were converted to technical training institutes. Nkabune Technical Institute started as a small training center in 1960s, then later on in 19. In the 1970s, it became a girls commercial college, eh, training for only girls, training, training for uh, KCSC and the other, the other courses. Later on in the 1980s, it, became, it was now converted into a, a, a technical training institute, eh, which is now uh, has been and that up to today. The institute that is accredited by TVET has registered tremendous growth over the years. Since then, the number of students trained at Nkabune Technical Training Institute has grown from about 300 to close to 2,000 in 2021. Kabune Technical Training Institute is a public institution under the Ministry of Education, State Department, of vocational and technical training. Uh, it is an institution with a national outlook. We have students from all over the country. This institution started way back in 1986. That is the time it was converted into a technical training institution. Uh, currently we are offering TVET courses, that is technical, vocational education training, Students are normally assessed by NEC or Kenya National Examination Council. We have also started new courses under competence-based education and training. These are short courses that take about six months and they are normally examined by CDAC, that is Curriculum Development Assessment and Certification Body. Kenya government in the recent past has put in emphasis on technical training among the youth so as to build a skilled workforce. In Kabuna Technical Training Institute in the same spirit and in the strive to achieving the vision 2030 has transferred skills to many people who are now in the public and private sector. Our vision is to be a center of excellence in provision of TVET. As Alia said, uh, the technical vocational education and training and for us to, for us to reach there. The mission is to, pro to provide the courses so that we can be able to produce the skilled manpower in those particular fields that can be competitive both locally and internationally. Uh, the same uh, trainees will be able to acquire technical skills for self-reliance that will be able to fit in the current market and also survive in changing technology because we know technology is changing each day. The institution has six departments offering diploma, certificate and artisan programs. Key among the courses offered are diploma and certificate in food and beverage, diploma and certificate in ICT, Diploma and Certificate in Electrical and Electronics Engineering, among others. In Kabune Technical Training Institute, we offer the following courses. Information Communication Technology. In this department, we offer ICDL, Cisco and Computer Packages. In the Engineering Department, we offer Electrical and Electronics, Automotive, Welding and Publication and Plumbing. We also have fashion design and clothing technology department. We have hospitality department which offers the following courses, food and beverage and catering and accommodation. We have hairdressing and beauty which is offered by CDAC and we offer level 4 
level 5 and level 6. In the business department, we offer the following courses, secretarial studies, accounting, management courses which includes business management, supply chain man management, human resource management, cooperative management and project management. We also have the Department of Social Work and Community Development. The courses that we offer, we offer them at the following levels, artisan, certificate and diploma. Our intakes are usually in January, May and September. The examining bodies for the courses that we offer are NEC, CASNEB and CEDAC. My area of work is to oversee the curriculum implementation in the institution. This entails uh, trainees attending classes, trainers also attending classes, the examinations done well both internally and externally. We have records for monitoring all those activities. Uh, when trainees go in class, there are documents that are signed by both the trainee and the trainer. We call it the attendance register, which is signed in front of the trainer and also in front of the trainees. Uh, this document is kept by the class representative. So the work of the trainer is just to see that everybody has come to class, count the numbers, and also count the check the form and also sign. So this form is brought to my office at the end of every week to see whether there are absentees, absentees or whether all have attended classes. Then uh, I also oversee discipline of the students because uh, if you are to do good in academics, it goes hand in hand with the, with the discipline. So we must check that discipline is maintained by both the trainees and the trainers. According to the principal, the food and beverage department has become the institute's center of excellence. We are a center of excellence in hospitality. We expose our trainees to practical experience every week. We are confident that they are able to take up the skills and they will be able to implement them as required in the industry. When we release them to the industry for industry attachment, we have been receiving excellent results. With support from the government through the Ministry of Education, Nkabuna Technical Training Institute has managed to equip the workshops with state-of-the-art equipment and in the wake of technological advancements and the new normal occasioned by COVID-19, Nkabune Technical Training Institute has set up a robust e-learning platform to ensure continuity of learning amid the pandemic. In this COVID era, we are having all our theory lessons taught online. We have a robust ICT department which helps us to communicate and to reach our students wherever they are to be able to access the online materials. And for the practical lessons, we offer face-to-face -face learning. Delivering quality and going for nothing but the best is a mantra at Nkabune Technical Institute. According to Nahashan Kiari, the management representative in charge of quality management system, the institution has acquired a number of ISO certification in a bid to ensure delivery of quality services. As an institution, Kabune TTI, we are committed to offer quality at every level of our product uh, and services. It is in pursuit of this commitment that we have established to follow the guidelines and systems of the international standard so that we can put ourselves at par with the other institutions that offer uh, products and services that relate uh, to us. We began this journey and commitment to quality in the year 2011 uh, where after thorough and rigorous audits we were audited and we were certified in ISO 9001-2008. We have continued to implement this system for many years 
with continuous audits from our certification bodies and in the year 2017 we aspired to move to greater heights. It is at this time that we again we were certified by our certification bodies, the international and national ones, and we were uh, certified to ISO 9001 2015, which we are currently implementing. I want to say that we have seen the ISO systems work for us. They have uh, made our systems to be efficient and uh, we have seen improvement in terms of quality of the services that we offer, in terms of gaining competitive advantage and in whatever we do in this institution, we are sure that it is at international uh, standard. Through the office of the Dean, students and the management get to cooperate as they work towards a comfortable, peaceful and serene environment at Kabune Technical. Considering the office of the Dean is in charge of uh, the student welfare. And uh, when we talk student welfare, we actually mean all that makes a student happy, comfortable and a satisfied customer. Uh, the activities that are taken uh, in the office of the Dean are accommodation. We take care of accommodation, the hostels, and we have hostels that we are hired externally outsourced, and we have ours that belong to the Institute. And uh, for that reason, we accommodate a good number of students, and uh, we are able to, you know, make them comfortable, especially when they come and they are new in this environment. Some are far from Meru or from far-flung areas of the country. And they, uh, when we have such, you know, many spaces of accommodation, we are able to make the, it easy on them. Finding is done, now it's coordinated from the Dean's office. However, we have outsourced the, the finding services, but still because uh, the outsourced service Fins our customers, the, the provider, the provider's customers are our customers, so it is still coordinated from the dean's office, where we ensure that the students are given adequate and good quality meals, and of course we also emphasize on them being served in uh, you know good time. We also take care of the medical care of the students. Uh, we have a nurse an institute nurse and a clinic officer and uh, we, we handle most of the cases from within apart from the cases that are beyond. That's when we refer them to either Meru General Hospital, Meru Level 5 Hospital or Kerua, the St. Teresa's Hospital. Then this office is also in charge of uh, coordinating games and sports where we go for competitions and uh, like I said uh, when you talk about uh, students meeting maybe from various corners of the country. It brings integration and this integration enhances cohesion. Cohesion and that's uh, actually the aim of the games. The this office is also in charge of clubs and societies where we encourage every student at least to join a club or a movement. And when all these things are done and done well, and with a lot of consideration for the students, they are happy. And uh, it now touches directly to our training, because when students are happy, even the classes to be better for us. When we are not in the classroom, we participate in co-curricular activities. We have acquired very many trophies in games, music and drama. We are regional and national champions in music, drama, games, TVET fair and robotic contests and that is why you can be able to see very many trophies in this office. I welcome the trainees or aspiring trainees who are also interested in co-curricular activities. Kabune being a, an academic institution uh, I found out to be a good environment since it is offering uh, all the requirements necessary for academics. The environment of Kabuni has got a chance of having several uh, uh, modern structures that is favorable for academics. 
They're having uh, several administration, uh, the tuition blocks. They're having the the workshops, especially the the catering and accommodation sector, the city sector, that is the clothing technology sector. They are also having a good machinery, and uh, the teachers are also uh, competent with the kind of technology you are having here. Um, being a youth and mostly a girl child, I could encourage girls out there, please, rather than staying or rather than looking and hooking up for something of, that you cannot or selling out yourselves there, I prefer come join us here at Ngabone in Meru County and with this course you will have something to rely on yourself on. I choose to take ICT in this school so that I can, it can help me to equip the, in the job market outside there. Having pursued my diploma in IT in Kabuna Technical Skills, as our motto says, technical skills for self-reliance. In the next five years, I'll be somewhere with myself owning a company which will be reliable in networking and programming. The future of Mkabuna Technical Training Institute is bright. Under the current leadership, led by the Board of Management and the Principal, the institution in the next five years would be in a position to accommodate at least 5,000 trainees. In the next five years, what we want to do is to create an enabling environment here in terms of infrastructure. So you have seen, I've said that you, we are targeting to have about 5,000 students. These students who require classrooms, they require workshops, and the, the tutors also will be required, the trainers will be required. The government has been very good, they supply us with the, with the Public Service Commission with the, with the tutors, but they cannot supply everybody. So the board has taken up to they engage the tutors who are there. In fact, currently we have over 20, 20 trainers and employed by the by the board. So every year we have a, a plan of what to do, which is backed by the budget that we have. And uh, in that budget, we, we we pick even a few items which are put in the performance contracting, which we normally negotiate with the ministry, and we are always uh, evaluated according to what we have done there. So in uh, Five years to come, I expect this one to be like a city. In fact, if you go to another hero there and look down, you see this one look uh, Kabuna Institute looking like a city in a village. Uh, we have uh, completed uh, a block of new classrooms so that we offer space for the increasing population. We have also been able to build an administration block so that the expanding institution and the expanding departments can get uh, a space for work. We intend in the next five years to continue improving the infrastructure. We also intend to increase the courses, particularly the technical courses. As we speak now, the population is at uh, 1,945, having released 717 students in 2020, so in the next five years, we intend to be 5,000. The students from outside and who are willing to even expand their educational levels, because while, while being in Kabune, you can even start at the lower level for artisan until to the diploma level. So we welcome each and every grade and be ready to join and enjoy the environment of academic. When we do all these things and they do them in harmony and the teamwork, we produce very well trained graduates. And uh, 
with that I would want to really hunch the parents out there to consider bringing their students to this place it, it's you know it's quite removed from the town issues but again as you have realized it's a good calm learning environment in fact it's a, like a heaven of peace Kabuna Technical Training Institute, technical skills for self-reliance.